Cambridge has been home to many famous people. This is the story of someone who's been forgotten, but who could have been a hero if things had worked out a little differently. Geoffrey Pike was a visionary and an inventor, in fact, a boffin. This attractive building on the edge of Cambridge shows no external sign that it was, in 1924, the Maltings House Experimental School, started by Pike and funded by the only enterprise he was ever successful at, stock trading. But by 1927 he was bankrupt and the school closed. After that he did some humanitarian relief, he invented a snow tractor that nearly worked, and experimented offloading soldiers from a ship in a pipe. But Pike's big moment was about to come as Britain went to war with Nazi Germany. Allied convoys in the Atlantic were being ravaged by German U-boats and England was being starved of food. Churchill said, the only thing that ever really frightened me was the U-boat peril. Far out at sea, air cover was desperately needed and Pike had the solution. A gigantic mid-Atlantic platform, an aircraft carrier, but like nothing the world had ever seen because it would have been made of ice. Pike had discovered that if ice is made to include 14% sawdust, it becomes much stronger and also resists melting. Pike called his material Pikecrete. Made of Pikecrete, with refrigerator pipes to stop it melting, the Pikecrete aircraft carrier could have worked. The idea caused a flurry of excitement. Lord Admiral Mountbatten and Churchill were both enthusiastic and a one-third scale model was built on a Canadian lake. It took a whole year to melt. But by 1943, U-boats were no longer such a threat, beaten by sonar, radar and long-range bombers. Pike's gargantuan ice ship never got built. Pike was axed from his own project. In protest, he sent a message to Lord Mountbatten, his boss. Chief of Naval Construction is an old woman, signed Pike. It's unlikely there will ever be a blue plaque here and Geoffrey Pike remains nearly a hero.